This spot, the confluence of the Blackfoot and the Clark Fork Rivers, used to be the site of an environmental disaster. For a century, waste from mines upriver settled here at the Milltown Dam, lining the river bottom with a thick layer of toxic sludge. Arsenic seeped into the groundwater. Experts warned that it was only a matter of time before the toxic sludge would break loose and flow past the dam, wreaking havoc on the wildlife and the communities downstream. The problem wasn't going away on its own, and the solution would have to strike a balance. The community needed swift action, but they also needed that action to be measured and strategic. The whole ecosystem hung in the balance. In the end, the consensus was the dam would have to come down. There was no dynamite, no great moment of destruction. Instead, the demolition was gradual, and so was the recovery. Today, 15 years after the dam removal, the rivers flow freely. Fish populations are flourishing. Groundwater is safe to drink again. It's an example of what's possible when you channel fear and concern into tangible action. In some ways, the dam removal is a microcosm of the current climate crisis itself. It's a reminder that a lot of the work is going to be about dismantling past symbols of progress, and that work requires its own unique kind of innovation. Welcome to Impact Studio. I'm Sam Kaplan, Vice President of Social Impact at Submittable. From my vantage, I've seen how difficult it can be in corporate philanthropy to build climate solutions that effectively address the scope of the problem. For anyone interested in this work, Fred Tan, head of global social impact at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, is setting a great example. As part of his CSR efforts, he's helping to launch a climate tech accelerator program with a sharp focus on innovation and a unique appetite for risk. I'd love to focus in on the Climate Tech Accelerator program that you have in place there. So um, what can you tell me about that? Yeah, for sure. You know, it all really stems from Hewlett Packard Enterprises' purpose, and that's to advance the way that people live and work. And we do that in our business by working with some of the top and most innovative companies, governments, private sectors, to really advance the way that people live and work. And so core to that belief is that innovation and technology is the power to solve some of the world's greatest challenges. And when I think of maybe one of the existential challenges of our day to day, it is the climate crisis. Um, and so we want to leverage innovation and technology to solve that. But not just to focus on innovation and innovators, we want to support the whole innovation ecosystem as a whole. Um, and so beginning in FY23, we are launching a series of programs together with different organizations to aid in their effort to support different elements of the innovation ecosystem, to support climate tech entrepreneurs, and to really get climate solutions de-risked and out to market and out in scale, and particularly innovations that not just focus on sustainability, but solutions that focus on helping communities adapt to climate change, if you will. Um, and, and that's really the impetus behind why we launched this new Climate Tech Accelerator um, in FY23. How will you define success with this program? Immediately, our metrics of success really is how many organizations are we partnering with? Are we enabling equal opportunities to succeed in the innovation ecosystem? And I think that's a really big one. Um, beyond that, we are really trying to keep ourselves honest, if you will, and asking the innovators in the ecosystem itself, what does success look like for you? And then how can we as a company, HPE, better design technology, better deploy technology for good? Um, and so if you will, we, we're trying not to put the cart before the horse. We really want to just support the ecosystem and the innovators really understand what they need. And from there decide, what do we as a company really need to do to change the innovation ecosystem instead of starting with our internal goal and in so doing a bit, becoming a bit more transactional in terms of how we work with the ecosystem. 